It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day and day two in Poway. And Waterwise has arrived with my order. And I thought it would be fun to show you what we got. Um, what's been offloaded so far, I've got three 24 inch Dracaena Dracos. This really super beautiful agave. It starts with a G. Um, Guinea, Guinea, ah, whatever. I don't use it often, uh, but this one was just so special. I thought I would. Uh, cactus. Yeah. It's what? Blooming. Oh yes. Look at my big Bertha. Look at that. These flowers are just ridiculous. I don't often get to use big cactus. Look at my Pringly eye. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't get to use these because I don't have the room in most of my installs. So yay, yay, yay. I've got, I've got three aloe Hercules. This, this aloe is a mystery. I got this. Um, Tom has opened the doors at Waterwise for me to go down and shop in the growing grounds. And they have the most beautiful one-offs down there. The only thing is, I mean, I don't know what they are, but I just, look at this. It's in a 15 gallon can and it's massive it, it's so interesting i can't wait for it to bloom so we can try to identify what it might be yes i have a yucca brostrata this is a two this one's got two heads kind of a, like a bigger version of the one that i used at our son john's installation look at this ginormous crassula ovata in a 36 inch tub isn't that insane this is not you know a rare or unusual plant but i just thought this is another one off. I just thought it was shaped so interesting and it was so full. And with this being such a big installation, you know, why not? I've got a giant 24 inch Petalanthus bracteatus. I've been saying it wrong all these, all this time. It's not bracteus, it's bracteatus. Oh my gosh. Then I've got some little things to wrap around the boulders, like, um, you know, like these cotyledon chalk fingers. I've got aloe blue elf. I've got, of course, my portalacaria afra. I've got a bunch of milii in different colors. And then I have, of course, Caesar coming with the from Sun Valley with the barrel cactus, the dazzlerian longissimums, the mediopictas, and some other fun things. I've got a Euphorbia Resinifera over there. That's in the box. People yeah, that is, so. uh, in the box. And yeah, I mean, just awesome. Then, of course, the yucca we cleaned up yesterday is looking great in the, in the sun. Um, Bart came from KRC yesterday and staged boulders for us. This is masterful. So glad he did this. And we are going to have to make some adjustments to the boulders though, because one thing that we didn't think about was there is an easement here and we need to allow 10 feet from the street in for buried, uh, buried cable and buried lines. You can kind of get a sense of it at the neighbors over here. See, and these neighbors over here, they've got this, you know, 10 foot line basically of just decomposed granite. And then these neighbors have gravel and a, and a retaining wall. So I'm going to need to make some adjustments here. We will likely have to move, basically just shift some things back. And then some of these boulders, some of the smaller, I might be able to move with our giant equipment up into the main installation area topside. So we've got, oh boy, do we have our work cut out for us. So uh, stay tuned.
Okay, so it is the end of day two in Poway, and we got the soil fairly well cleaned out over on this side. Remember the easement situation. So I'm beginning to see a real flow happen here with what I'm going to do. And, you know, as we move on with phases, I mentioned, one of you mentioned in yesterday's video uh, about this eucalyptus tree and the branch hanging over and how it should be cut off, and I couldn't agree more. In a perfect world, the eucalyptus tree would go, as with these eucalyptus trees. Um, and that's a definite possibility in later phases. But it can be a little, a little tricky getting clients to let go of the trees. Uh, that's a lot and it's expensive. So for now we're gonna deal with it. Uh, but eventually we will take this installation all the way down. It's gonna be so spectac. Um, okay, so we got a lot of boulders moved today. Greg brought in another eight yards of soil, which we're manipulating up here uh, in the flat space to create, you know, to create a little bit of movement. The boulders are going really far. We got another 10 ton today delivered via dump truck. And um, so it's just no end. I underestimated how much soil we were gonna need for sure, but it's okay. It, the, the rock yard where we get, it's really close and we have the dump trailer, so all is, all is well. Here's um, the rest of the, the haul from Waterwise Botanicals. Oh my gosh, check out these agave perii. Huh, so gorgeous. Um, the big dinner plate aeoniums, I wanted to plant those around the boulders to kind of soften some of them up. And I do have some aloe blue elf coming from Caesar tomorrow and on his haul along with 24 barrel cactus, 12 of them are 30 gallons, so they're gonna be huge. Um, the driftwood, yeah, that beautiful piece of driftwood from Driftwood Larry, I have not yet decided where that's going. I would imagine probably down at the entry somewhere. And we still have to get going in here. Tomorrow we will have two more people on board. Kevin will be back along with Blonde Terry. We've missed Blonde Terry, so it'll be great to have her back. And uh, yeah, I'll probably have people get started doing a little bit of prep work in here with raking um, and then we'll weed fabric, throw down some soil and some smaller boulders and get to staging plants over here too. This side still have at least eight more yards of soil to bring in. We are in the process, you know, it's time consuming. Each one of these boulders takes 15 or 20 minutes to move and stage. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a lot of work and it's very time consuming, but we're getting there. You guys are going to be so amazed at what we are able to accomplish by end of Bidnet tomorrow. So be sure and tune in, be sure and subscribe, share these videos with your other plant loving friends. Hey team TFS. Thanks guys. Thanks for another great day from Poway with day two. Team DFS, this is Laura Eubanks with your succulent tip of the day. Bye, guys.